Uh, okay, in the previous video we discussed uh, this particular situation where a body is falling freely and uh, we observed that uh, uh, the sum of kinetic and potential energy remains constant and uh, that is law of conservation of mechanical energy. Kinetic energy keeps on increasing as the body starts moving down and the potential energy tries to decrease as it goes down. But the sum remains constant. That was the conclusion that we had from this particular video. And now we will try to plot this, uh, the pl plot the values of uh, kinetic energy and potential energy on the, uh, this particular chart. Let us let us say we have a graph like this, right? So we have on the y-axis we have energy, and on the x-axis we have height above the ground, right? Height from the ground, right? And uh, if I plot, try to plot the kinetic energy and potential energy, how will we get this? Uh, as we know. As we go above the ground, that is, as we move in this particular direction, uh, the potential energy increases. Right? This is the direction in which we are moving if we go from the ground to the top. So, if I go in this particular direction, potential energy decreases, increases. Right? So, if this is the maximum energy, mgh, right? and let us say this is the final position, this is the final or the maximum height h. Right? Now, let me get this point over here and this is say for example h the height above the ground so we are at the maximum height at the maximum height potential energy is maximum so at this particular location i'll get potential energy mgh and at the ground when it is on the ground the potential energy is zero so if i join these two particular points i'll get a graph for potential energy so let me uh, join these two particular points so this particular graph is for potential energy. The potential energy at height above the ground 0 is 0 and at height h the potential energy is maximum mgh. Uh, if I try to do the same thing for, so let me just show it over here, let me show over here that this particular graph is for potential energy u. If I try to do the same thing for kinetic energy, we know that uh, at the maximum height, at this particular height, kinetic energy is 0. At maximum height, kinetic energy is 0. Uh, whereas uh, uh, when it comes, when it when it reaches over here, and the uh, the energy is maximum. So for kinetic energy, what happens is that at height h, the energy is zero. This is the energy graph. So energy is zero at height h, and when it reaches height zero, when it is about to touch the ground, it has got maximum kinetic energy. It has got maximum kinetic energy. So this this particular line will give me the graph for kinetic energy. So this one is for kinetic energy. Okay. Right? And this particular point, right, which is the point where the two graphs intersect, is where both the kinetic energies will be equal. So here I'll get mgh by 2. The meaning over here is that the kinetic energy and potential in both are mgh, right? If I take this particular height, if I take this particular height, this height will give me Right? the potential because this is a potential energy graph this will give me potential energy graph and this will give me the kinetic energy and both of them are equal over here and the sum of kinetic and potential energy which is mgh always so this particular horizontal line this horizontal line is the total energy which is m right? uh, let us consider any any random point let us say we are looking at kinetic energy, potential energy and total energy at this particular height from the ground. Right? So what will be the potential energy at this particular point? So from here if I draw a line onto the potential energy line, so this is what I get and this particular, this particular value, this particular value, this much, this much will be the potential energy, potential energy at this particular height. At the same location, if I try to find out kinetic energy, I'll have to go up to the kinetic energy graph. So if I start from here, I cross this line, and I reach over here. So this entire length, uh, this particular entire length, right from here up to here, this gives me kinetic energy. This is kinetic energy of the object. That, this is potential energy. And uh, if I add this, and if I add, just imagine that I'm putting this over here. I'm putting this particular part, uh, let me give it a name, let me give it a name A, so OA. If I just transfer OA over here, it will fit in over here such that the kinetic energy and the potential energy get added up and I get 
to this entire particular height as m. Uh, I hope uh, you get it in this particular graph. This is what happens, right? And if I do that exercise at any particular location, for example, if I do it over here again, I'll get the same thing. This height will be kinetic energy because from here I have reached the kinetic energy curve. So this is kinetic energy at this particular height. This entire height, if I take this particular height, this entire height will give me potential energy. And if I add this particular height over here, I'll get total energy. So this graph very nicely explains how the total of kinetic and potential energy remains constant. The total is always constant, therefore it's a horizontal line. This is the energy, energy axis and this line remains horizontal because the total energy remains constant whereas potential energy and kinetic energy keep on increase, increasing and decreasing as the object uh, moves. Uh, I hope this uh, graph has uh, helped you understand the conservation of mechanical energy uh, better. Um, before we wind up, we will look at one more example. We'll look at one more example of uh, kinetic uh, conservation of mechanical energy, and we'll take the example of a, a simple pendulum. Right? Let's let, let's let, let's look at conservation of mechanical energy for a simple pendulum. Right? So, uh, we have a pendulum which is suspended from location O, o and let us say these are the two extreme heights. Right? This is the uh, let me call this. Um, a, this location as B and this location as C. So the pendulum is at its mean position, this is the mean position and the, these are the two extreme positions. Um, let us begin, uh, let us try to understand what happens when it starts from A. So it starts from A, goes to B, goes to C and starts coming back and again reaches A. When it is at location A, if I consider this as the reference level, it is at a height H from the reference level. So it has got potential energy mgh, right? If I take the mass of the bob as, uh, if I take the mass of the bob as m, then the potential energy u is equal to, uh, let me let me write at location a. Right? Uh, let me use this space so that I don't have to get out of the frame. At a, at location a, u is equal to mgh. When it reaches over here and it is starting its journey in the downward direction or in this particular direction. Velocity is zero, so kinetic energy is zero. Kinetic energy is zero. When it reaches the mean position, it has maximum velocity, right? So it will have a large velocity and it will have some value of velocity. So at location B, it will have kinetic energy maximum. We don't know how much it is, or we're not interested in what magnitude it will have but we know that since the velocity over here is maximum it will have maximum kinetic energy and since it is on the reference level its potential energy is zero right? potential energy is zero and same thing will happen at c so at c what happens at c the object when it reaches over here it stops to start its journey in the backward direction so its velocity is zero and therefore kinetic energy is zero and it is at a height in h from the reference level, so its potential energy is, is mgh. So we can see that when it started from A, it had potential energy mgh, kinetic energy was zero. When it reached at B, the entire, the entire potential energy became kinetic energy, became kinetic energy. And this would be equal to mgh, and the potential energy was zero. And when it again started its energy, uh, started its journey from B to C, the kinetic energy which was maximum, which was equal to mgh, right, that got converted into potential energy and kinetic energy becomes zero. So at all the three locations, A, B and C, what we find is that the sum of kinetic and potential energy remains constant. Uh, their individual values keep on changing, but the sum remains constant and that is conservation of uh, mechanical energy for simple pendulum. Thank you.